Hello and welcome to today's lovely heartwarming recipe which is chicken and broccoli bake. This is one of my personal favourites and you can tend to kind of over make it too often but anyway let's just see what's in store. So we have some chicken, I have chicken fillets that I have cut into chunks, I like mine nice and chunky and I've poached it just in some water, not even seasoned, just some plain water. Now the secret of this recipe is the stock. Okay, so we have our chicken, which we've poached in the water. I also have some broccoli florets, which I'm going to poach next. Then I have some uh, double cream, some breadcrumbs, some uh, parmesan cheese, and I also have some roux. Now, roux is something that we use in cooking to thicken sauces, and it's a nicer way than using maybe a corn flour or any other thickener. It's made by equal amounts of butter, which is melted in a pan, and then adding the same amount of flour. And this is something that you blend together, cook off for one minute, and you'll have that and you can keep that forever and ever and ever in the fridge. So you'll just be using a little bit of that at the very end to thicken the sauce. Okay, so what we've done is we just popped our broccoli into the same water that we poached the chicken in, and we've let it just to cook out just for a couple of minutes. We still want it nice and firm, and I have layered the broccoli in and around in the bowl with the chicken. So they're both poached and cooked, but I've kept all this lovely water. So I have, in here we poached our chicken, we poached the broccoli, and now this is going to be our sauce. So to this, I'm going to add some of the roux. We mentioned that this is made with butter and flour, and this is going to add a nice loveliness. So I'm just going to take about a teaspoon of roux, and I'm gonna sprinkle it in. And as I sprinkle that, it's really important, we go in with a whisk, and we get it moving. The importance here is that we let it cook out and then we add a little bit at a time. So once it hits the water and the heat, the flour will start expanding and it will start cooking away and thickening what is going to be our sauce. So I can see the little bursts, the little bursts of uh, flour in there. They take a few minutes. So I can tell that I'm going to need another little bit, and probably another teaspoon, I would say. It can be a little bit hard to break up, so don't be afraid to just kind of crumble it in your hands over the pot. So there you go. And again, keep stirring. You'll see it starts foaming up. That's the butter and the flour reacting together, and that's exactly what we want. Keep whisking, nice high heat. Don't leave it. It'll be worth it. Now, and finally, after five minutes, we have a lovely, lovely bubbly sauce. All that roux has melted into it, and it's nice. You can see all those lovely bubbles. So now we're going to just finish this off with a little bit of double cream. Again, just adding that extra little bit of goodness. A little bit of double cream. We won't use single cream because that would split in our hot sauce. So again, I am just, and now look at that lovely glaze that it gives us. So creamy. So beautiful. Off the heat, and here we have all our ingredients ready to receive it. So here we go. Get rid of this here. And now I'm simply just going to pour this in. Obviously, we're using a heat proof bowl, and I'm just going to fill that up with goodness. It's so nice. And around, and you can see it coming up the sides. Mm. Now, we're simply going to add some Parmesan cheese to some breadcrumbs. Okay, keep them nice and chunky. I'm just gonna mix those through with my fingers. Easy as. And this gives a lovely topping. So I'm just going to, using my hands, pop this on the top. Now there's no great magic to this. We just lash it on and it's just going to create a lovely crust and then we're going to be able to see this bubbling, bubbling, bubbling through. So we're just gonna pop this into a preheated oven and leave it for about 20 minutes and it's going to be just beautiful. Now, here we have our beautiful chicken and broccoli bake. You can see that it's lovely and crisp and golden. You can see it bubbling up the sides. You can see the little bit of cheese. And now we're just gonna portion a little piece up onto our plate. 
Oh my gosh, that sauce is beautiful and creamy. And there we have our chicken and broccoli bake. Enjoy. <laughs>